The mystery of what was causing the mass fatalities of marine species off South Australia has been solved. The culprit is a microalgae bloom caused by a marine heat wave and warming waters. With more, here's Greta Gaiani from the University of Technology, Sydney. Hi there, Greta. So tell us about this algae. So um, this is a particular type of algae of a group that is called dinoflagellates. We do have them in the marine water a lot and some of them have this capacity when they they in particular conditions let's say they have the capacity of blooming as we can see in in the pictures and creating this sort of foam which can be toxic for marine environment and uh, create some uh, respiratory problems in humans that get in contact with 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 it as you say, as well as killing marine life, it also made surfers and beachgoers sick. What problems does it cause? How does it cause the problems in humans? In, in humans, it's basically a toxin that spreads out of the algae per se. These, these organisms are generally round shaped and they can release these toxins either when they break or because they naturally release it and it gets, it gets into the air. Mm -hmm. And so when, if we are, we are very close to the beach or if there is wind that blow, blows away these, these toxins, they, it can get in contact with our nostrils and our throat and create some irritations, let's say. Is it because of the warming mm -hmm. waters? Mm -hmm. This is a very good question. We really don't know. Uh, it is proved that some of these organisms in warmer situation, they tend to grow more because temperature is one of the main um, factors that helps life in, in growing, especially marine life. But we, it's not, not, not this decided yet, it's not known yet because some of them can even um, grow in a better, in, in colder temperature in a better way. So it's, it's mm. a bit of a, a problem. We are trying to establish it in, somehow. And Greta, it doesn't hang around for long, you said. It does, the, to the toxin does not hang around for long because once the cell is dead, it has not the capacity to produce it any, again. So uh, once, the, 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 let's say, the environment washed them away is not is not problematic anymore. But of course, if you see this type of foam, don't go close to the beach and don't swim in it because then you can get you can get intoxicated. And we don't know uh, how much or what are the actual effect long term on humans because of course we never tested it on, on humans, mm. as, so as you can imagine. The foam that we're seeing mm -hmm. are being washed in, that is the algae itself, is it? Or does it produce that reaction in the ocean? The algae are below that, that right. level of foam. So with overall with warming water temperatures, will these types of algae blooms become more common? This is another very good question. Uh, we are, there, is a, there are the two type of uh, beliefs in that sense. Some, some of us believe that yes, with warmer temperature, we will have more, more algae, more blooms, and some others don't think so because of the currents and what can happen if we have warmer temperatures in one place then not not so much in other and so it, it can change the environment we are really deep studying this this type of effect because for the majority of these toxins there is no cure so the only work that can be done is in the prevention of a, a bloom so we are studying um, models and like weather forecast this this type of models to understand what could happen in, in the future greta Gani, thank you so much thank you so much bye